from Iran, a group of hardline students has made an appeal to the government in response to Israel's campaign in Gaza. They have asked President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad for authorization to send volunteer suicide bombers to Gaza to fight against Israel. The government has not responded. For more on Israel's view of where this conflict is headed, we are joined by Benjamin Croste, Israel's Deputy Consul General here in New York. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Thank you, Mark. Why is it that Israel rejected the notion of a 48-hour pause in this conflict? You know, Martin, as the IDF has also been planning its operations and its targeted strikes against terrorists, at the exact same time, the same IDF is coordinating humanitarian aid. Till now, we've, accumulated, we've accommodated 6,500 trucks going in, um, food supplies, medical supplies, bringing people out. There's an ongoing humanitarian effort that we are actually great, very much involved in. And so there is, at this moment, there's no shortage of food. We've been asked by the World Food Program to stop that there's no more need for food right but, now. But, but what does this have to do with the pause? I mean, if you had a pause in the conflict, you could presumably move as much in as you wanted without any problem. Well, well, the point is that right now there is no need for any additional. Whatever, we can accommodate it at all as the operation. And we've actually, in, in a dialogue with the international interlocutors, international relief organizations, who recognize that fact. The problem is that if we take a stop, we're allowing Hamas to retool, we're allowing Hamas to struggle, to smuggle, we're allowing Hamas to continue to fire rockets. And right now we need to, once and for all, put an end to this calculus. We can't tolerate any more terrorist rockets falling on southern Israel. We can't tolerate any more missiles, grad rockets falling in classrooms. Miraculously, last night, a rocket fell in a kindergarten in the town Beersheba that was never hit before by rockets. If it had happened today during the day, 40 kids would have been killed. And we reported on that. But getting back to the humanitarian situation, uh, you say that there is no shortage of food, no shortage of medical supplies, as apparently the people The humanitarian in organizations have told us, the World Food Program has told us, there is enough stock of food right now for two weeks. They do not need to send any more in there right now. We have been told there is enough medical supplies at the moment to do it. If there's anyone who is gravely ill or gravely injured just today, 15 people were brought out of... The, Gaza into Israel to be treated at our hospitals. If it's not a problem of getting supplies in, there is a problem of getting them moved about Gaza because of the continued strikes by Israeli aircraft. It's dangerous to move. How do you propose to solve that problem? You know, we have a problem here. We have a problem that terrorists have taken shelter among civilians. They're using them as human shields. Just today we have reports of rocket launches from mosques and weapons stores being kept in mosques. And so we have a problem. The, ch the places they're using to hide from is to hide among civilians because they think want you, this. You are protecting civilians. We're do, first of all, we're protecting the Israeli civilians, and we're doing every effort possible to protect the Palestinian civilians who are being held hostage by the same Hamas. What other army in the world has a staff who are picking up phones, calling houses 30 minutes before an operation, telling people leave the house? This is going to be bombed on because this is a Hamas target. Will there be a ground offensive? And if so, is it possible diplomacy could prevent that? Well, I don't know right now to tell you for certain. I would hope that diplomacy could prevent it, could prevent the need, but I think we need Hamas to recognize that they have to stop. We've been engaged in a peace effort the last year with Abu Mazen, and at the same time we've tried to fight and deal with the terrorists from Hamas. The answer is that we must stop the terror, we must stop the violence, we must stop the people shooting rockets at our civilians, and we must once and for all change the game. We must allow moderate forces to emerge, and that we have to, we, you mentioned before Iran, Iran is supporting all of these terrorists. We need to have a resolute answer to the terrorists and saying to them, not enough, and we're not going to play this game anymore. And we have to leave it there. Benjamin Krasna, Israel's Deputy Consul General here in New York. Thank you, sir. Thank you.